What is up, disc golfers? Today on Iceberg TV, I want to explain to you why I think grip locking doesn't exist. And if this is a mistake you're making, so accidentally releasing the disc way to the right or on way too much Anheuser, what you can actually do to fix it. So first I want to explain why I think grip locking doesn't exist. And I actually think the term grip lock can be a fairly confusing name, especially for new players. Because when you think the term grip lock, you think the only problem that's happening is that I've released my hand too late and I've accidentally sent my disc over in that direction. So all I need to do is let go of the disc earlier. And it sounds like a simple fix when in reality, you have very different problems going on with your form probably. Players who grip lock their shots tend to do one of two things. The first thing that we're gonna go over is rounding. So if you don't know what rounding is, it's basically the action of having the disc travel a rounded path around your body instead of a good path, which looks more like this. We wanna find ourselves from this position, the disc out in front of us, into the body, and then out towards our target. This would be good form. This would be round form. This is what it should look like. But what a lot of players do is they wind up reaching behind them, then they have to come around their body and go in a rounded form. And then they just release the disc. And in this situation, you have to release the disc perfectly just to get it even to go straight. So this is the first problem that a lot of players have when they have grip lock issues. Now, the second thing that can happen is over rotating or failure to plant on your plant foot and rotating too soon or too much. So if we over rotate or rotate too soon, we wind up being here and sending the disc that way. So instead of planting, throwing and following through the shot, a lot of people will rotate too early and they wind up going like this and they wind up throwing in that direction. So that can be caused by over rotating or rotating too soon. And what your form should look like is more of a form where the disc is out in front of you, we find this position, and then we release the disc. So I'll do one throw so you guys can see what it would look like. You can see the disc follows a pretty linear path through the form. I have the disc out here, I'm rotating, finding this position, and then releasing towards my target. So that's what the form should look like. So I know for some of you, just understanding what's going wrong isn't gonna help you correct it. So I'm gonna steal a drill that I learned from the disc golf spin doctor. Now, in all things across most sports, when you're making a mistake, one of the best ways to fix it is to overcorrect. Now, so the disc golf spin doctor came up with a really brilliant drill that's gonna help you overcorrect this problem. So instead of releasing the disc this way, which you're doing by mistake, I'm gonna show you a drill where you can actually learn to release the disc this way, and that's gonna help you feel what that throw is supposed to feel like, help you fix your line of pull, and help you learn to fix your rounding or fix your over-rotating. So all we're gonna do is instead of approaching our shot the normal way, where we're moving either straight or maybe slightly to the left as we approach the shot, we're just going to move slightly to the right. And what this is gonna force you to do is release the disc out in front of you this way. And this is a really great drill from the Spin Doctor. And if you haven't seen his channel or watched any of his videos, I will link that in the description below. He makes some of the best tutorials in the sport of disc golf. So now we're gonna try that. He actually advises making a line of minis that you can follow, but I'm just gonna walk that way in today's video. So all we're gonna do is move to the right. And it's gonna feel really weird at first, but I can guarantee you, if you can find a way to walk from left to right and still release the disc generally straight, this is gonna fix most of your issues and it's gonna translate really well over to stopping your rounding and stopping your over rotating. So we'll do a few more, just like the spin doctor would want us to. And it's gonna be really hard to do. It's gonna feel really weird but I guarantee you this drill helped me a lot and I can tell you the guys that this is going to help you as well. So we'll do one more moving from left to right but still finding a way to release the disc on a straight line. 
And it's pretty tough to do. It feels really awkward, but then when you go to actually throw a real shot again, you feel what this is supposed to feel like. So then when you go and throw your normal shot, it's quite easy to throw a good shot. So anyways, I think grip locking doesn't exist. And I think that term can be confusing. So I hope this video explains to you what you're actually doing. Rounding, what is rounding? It's pulling in a rounded motion around your body instead of pulling like you're supposed to. It's reaching way too far behind yourself and then coming around like this and over rotating, which most people have this problem. They look fairly normal, but then they rotate way too much and they wind up facing in the wrong direction. And when you try to go play in the woods and you have to hit gaps, it can make it nearly impossible to hit gaps if you're having these issues with your form. So for you guys to fix that, understanding the problem, knowing what's going on is step one. Step two is performing a drill that's gonna help you get better and fix the problem. And then step three is staying consistent to your form. And when you do go play disc golf, don't revert back to your old problems. Focus on what you've been practicing, focus on what you've been leaning in to try and learn. And yeah, continue to get better. But anyway, shout out Spin Doctor, really, really great drill from him. So again, I'll link that in the description below. Um, go check out bergsdisksports.com. I'll link that in the description below as well. You guys are watching Iceberg TV. Thank you so much for watching my channel and take care.